Hello everyone, in this video we are going to talk about uh, Hyper-V virtual machine versions and how to upgrade a uh, virtual machine to a newer version. So VMs on Windows Server 2016 have a new configuration uh, type that also introduces a new configuration uh, file extension VMCX and as opposed to this if you don't know, on Windows Server 2012 R2 and earlier, the configuration file was an XML file, which is a text file, and uh, on 2016 it, it is a binary file. Also new to uh, Windows Server 2016, virtual machines now expose their configuration version in the graphical interface and also through PowerShell. So you can see what version a machine is and you can take uh, the required actions about it. If you want to upgrade the virtual machine version, you know that uh, maybe it is a lower version that, than you would want. Also important to know is that older virtual machine versions can run on newer hosts, but they may not benefit from all the enhanced features that a virtual machine with a newer version has. In case you want to upgrade a VM version, first it's very important to know that the virtual machine must be shut down. So you can't upgrade a VM version with the virtual machine uh, running. So let's get uh, a little more in depth about the configuration uh, files and the versions. Virtual machines on Windows Server 2012 R2, like I said, use XML as the configuration file, which is a text file, and the version number for a VM created on this OS is 5. On Windows Server 2016, virtual machines have version 8, and now they use a binary file with the extension VMCX as the configuration file, and they also use a file with the extension VMRS, as the runtime state data file. And the big benefit that Windows Server 2016 configuration uh, type brings to the table is that this new format increases the uh, read and write efficiency and it also protects against corruption. And the read and write efficiency is very important because now the scale of the virtual machines that you can place on a Hyper-V host has gone up because in the past it uh, was hard for the operating system to read uh, a lot of configuration files that were in uh, XML format. So let's see what uh, we can do to upgrade a machine from a previous version. First, let's use the command get vm on hvs04c and you see that we have a test VM10, which is version 5. So this is a machine created on Windows Server 2012 R2. Since the machine is already turned off, we can uh, use update VM version. And we are going to update the version of this virtual machine. And now it should be at version 8, as you can see here. And let's see how the files now look for this virtual machine as opposed to a virtual machine in version 5. And uh, check it out. So a virtual machine with version 5 uses this configuration file. And now the virtual machine in version uh, 8 uses this configuration file. And it also has this file, which at this point is not really useful because the machine is not running, but it is uh, created. So this was it for this small video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it's useful for you. Please like it and share it if it uh, is. Also subscribe to see when I put out new videos and thanks a lot for watching.